28 Chrysler Model 52. This is from Greg McPherson of Wheeling, West Virginia. All right, another look at Chrysler, which we talked about, introduced in the 1924 calendar year. Uh, this, uh, if you remember the one we saw come, come before, a little bit along the wheelbase, this one a little smaller. In fact, it's the smallest of the Chrysler line for 1928. And uh, again, the Chrysler's big, uh, big claim to fame, the all-wheel uh, brakes, and not just brakes, but hydraulic brakes rather than mechanical brakes, which are being used on many automobiles up to this point. And the Model T, as we mentioned, have been using still the same brake on the transmission, not even brakes on the wheels per se. So that was a major improvement with the Model A. But uh, sharp-looking car, and I think beautifully proportioned and sort of scaled down, if you will, from the larger size Chrysler's. Uh, factory price on this is about $720. And I think it's very important to just take a bit and talk about the state of the industry at the time here, man. We're in 1920, and a lot of companies were looking to expand. Uh, you start to see GM introducing Virginia brands around this time, with Plymouth brands coming online. Uh, even the smaller uh, Studebaker has, has just added Pierce Arrow to their lineup. Uh, companies were really trying to expand their market share, kind of go the General Motors route, a car for every person purpose. Uh, unfortunately, uh, October 1929 was not that far away and would change industry uh, dramatically uh, in the coming months. But we'll talk about that when we get to some of those vehicles. But absolutely beautiful car, great thank you for bringing it out.